Global Action Network has been fighting this tooth and nail, and that is we have a level of Republican voter suppression that is absolutely outrageous. You would have thought that after all we have gone through as a country to make sure that people have the right to vote, regardless of the color of their skin, that these Republican gov governors would show some mercy and not try to bring us back to Jim Crow days. The idea that they are passing laws restricting the right to vote, making it harder for people to vote, poor people, old people, people of color, that is moving in exactly the wrong way. Now I see my old friend Reverend Jackson here. He has an idea. Others have a different idea. But what we all agree on is at the end of the day, in America, if you are 18 years of age and you're an American citizen, you have the right to vote. Maybe we do it through a constitutional amendment. Maybe we do it in another way. But I'm tired of people figuring out ways to shrink the voter turnout. We've got to expand the voter turnout. Number two, I am embarrassed to have to admit this, but I am old enough to have been at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. I was there with Dr. King. Dates me, but I was there. But I want everybody to remember what I know you all know. The name of that march, it's not just the March on Washington, it was the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, all right? Reverend Chopton? I wasn't there, but you asked He's a kid. He's a it's a good kid, he's growing, he's learning. <laughs> Jobs and freedom. And what Dr. King understood is of course you have to destroy segregation. Of course you have to open up opportunity for all people. But then he said, what does it matter if you desegregate a lunch counter but you don't have the money to buy the damn hamburger. And this is what he said back in the 1960s. And it's sad to remember how much distance we still have to go. This is Dr. King. He said, the other America, he talked about two Americas, he says the other, the other America was plagued by, quote, inadequate, substandard, and often dilapidated housing conditions. Well, guess what? I was in Baltimore, Maryland a few months ago in a community where so many of the homes were boarded up. I've been in communities all over this country where gentrification is destroying neighborhoods. I have been in communities where people are paying 50, 60 percent of their limited incomes in housing, we have all been in communities where too many people are sleeping out on the street. Dr. King talks about something. Senator Bernie Sanders speaking in Midtown Manhattan to the National Action Network. This is Al Sharpton's group there, Bernie Sanders.